Hello everyone, my name is David Hubel and I'm the vineyard manager here at Hafner Vineyard. During the 2020 harvest, I took it upon myself to uh, share a little bit of the experience of what it's like as the Cabernet harvest was wrapping up. So take a moment and enjoy some of this footage from the 2020 Hafner Vineyard Cabernet harvest. Good morning guys. It is 2.30 in the morning. And today is a day to pick some Cabernet. Got my second cup of coffee. Let's go do this. Hey guys, just checking in. So we've uh, we've picked uh, about three quarters of what we're gonna pick for today. And what I wanted to share was uh, one of my favorite moments of nighttime picking with a machine harvester. And that is when the sun comes up or begins to, and you start to see on the horizon the, uh, the beginnings of dawn. It's really nice. So, have a look. All right, now they got everything opened up. The machine's warming up. A couple minutes away from getting started. It's time to go say hi to the crew. Buenos dias todos. Hágame un favor y... Saluden a los clientes del próximo generación. Hola. Hola. Ahí andamos. All right, here we are lined up on the first row. This is our Kellogg Clone 6. Got my settings all dialed in the way I think. And uh, we'll pick a few vines and see how it goes. Morning so far. There's the winery up there in the distance. And here's a view I never get to see. Kate took a moment to climb on top of the harvester to a little platform that's there so one can stand and monitor the sorting system. It's kind of hard to believe we can pick grapes at four miles an hour, but that's what's happening here. And then here we get a look at the sorting system in action. This is the last point where the berries go over those rollers. Anything that's not a grape gets tossed off the side. The grapes fall in the bin. We get to the end of the row. I dump them into the gondola, and if that were the last that was needed to fill it up, it could head off towards the winery. Good morning, it's time to pick the last of the Estate Cabernet. Come on, let's go. Here it is, folks. The last row of vintage 2020 at Hafner Vineyard. I've sent a couple of presentations that we've given via Zoom that uh, this is my favorite day of the year. Nothing feels better than working a whole year to produce a vintage and bringing in the very last of it. Thanks for joining us. Hi, I'm Park Hafner. I'm the winemaker here. Uh, David, our vineyard manager, just took you through the Cabernet harvest. And now the grapes will arrive here at the winery and I'll step in. They'll be my responsibility. And I'm gonna just walk you through uh, how we make red wine. Here's a load of Cabernet arriving at the winery in one of our two gondolas, each of which hold two tons of grapes. Jose Luis is backing it up on this little ramp that'll give it some additional height. And then the 
gondola is tilted and gent gently shaken so that the grapes exit the gondola and fall into the fruit sorter where the ju where the berries are separated from any of the material other than grapes and you can see the idea is that the berries fall between these rollers and yet the leaves and the stems bounce along the top of the rollers and go into the waste receptacle. The cleaned juice and skins are then pumped through this three inch muscle line and into one of our large red fermentation tanks. At the beginning of fermentation we just do a couple of short pump overs a day and when we do those we just do it the old-fashioned way with a hose in our hand and wet the cap. Uh, this is a tank that's actively fermenting and for the pump over we use our pump over device which allows us to walk away from the tank while it's working for about 15 minutes. Now that the fermentation is finished and the wine is tasting the way we want it to, we are draining it, draining the finished wine out of the fermenter, and then we'll shovel the skins into the press to extract the remaining wine. Now we're raking the skins out of the fermentation tank. And here, uh, David and Ricardo are shoveling the skins into the press and then we'll start the press to extract the remaining wine in the skins. After the wine is pressed, it's then settled overnight and the next morning we'll pump the clear wine off of the sediment and pump it out into our caves where it will age in barrels for about 16 months. And here is, uh, here is Sarah filling Looks like a new barrel. We usually use about 30% new oak in the red wine program. And, um, whoops, a little spillage there. And then here are uh, Ricardo and, and uh, myself stacking barrels the old fashioned way by hand. Um, so if there's any doubt that these are handcrafted wines, this should settle that question right here and right now. Now that uh, the rush of harvest has started to quiet down and all the wines and barrels, uh, the next uh, six, eight months for the Chardonnay, we'll be monitoring it, tasting it regularly. And for the Cabernet, it'll be another 16 to 18 months in the barrel. And at this point in the, the season, we always look back on the year. Um, it was a challenging year with the pandemic and then uh, fires in Sonoma County, Napa County. We were lucky to have avoided any any damage from the, the fires or the smoke this year, but just the same, it uh, took an emotional toll. <clears throat> and as, as uh, winemakers, as farmers, we always have the optimism of what the next year holds. So we're starting to to think about that as we prune vines and say goodbye to 2020.